let's start now last week what we have done is basically i think uh, we did the mail merge part uh, but uh, we have some other stuff to complete uh, like the column layout uh, as a header footer we have already done the picture formatting picture formatting uh, i copy karam let's do the picture formatting part and after that let's do the column layout and after that, uh, let's uh, complete the uh, complete the table part, and uh, then like proofreading that part we can complete. Okay, I'll take a new file. Right, uh, let's insert a picture. Well, I'm going to insert a picture there. So when you insert a picture, what do I talk insert karam? When you insert a picture. So there is a new uh, one appearing, new uh, menu appearing there. And that is called the picture format menu. You can insert picture by going to the picture, uh, then picture from file, picture, picture from file. Or you can browse internet. Picture, picture from file, or you can browse uh, the internet. Okay, I'm going to insert a picture here. You can insert any picture that you like, but I'm going to insert one from here. Use this. Okay, let's insert this picture. Right, when a picture is inserted, when a picture is inserted, you can see the picture format menu appearing. These are called dynamic menus. You want to pick a dynamic and a menu with a column tip in any ballot then picture format in a bay when you insert a picture while a picture can insert karama when you insert a picture the format in menu appears not the second one right picture from file online pictures browse karana pull on while I get pictures math and computer you can go and browse online pictures right let's go to the desktop and you can see here I'm browsing getting this picture which one i got previous documents yes this one uh, today i'm not well today but i will try my level best to continue right i will only do one hour it is very very difficult to talk okay then in this picture format menu when you click picture format menu appears you can do various things like uh you can remove the background on already this the background so no need to remove that but if it is a uh, uh, like picture like this, uh, the background you remove and not any meaning. Okay, let's take a picture um, of a person. Of a person, it's it's me this time. And if I want to remove the background, I can click here, remove background. That will automatically detect the background. And if I apply this, you can see the background is now removed. I can move the picture here and there and it is transparent because background is to move. If you think that background, the Mithanami background remove if you want to keep that, you can select, right? Remove background here. Key areas to keep. Then I can mark this area. Areas to keep. I can mark these flowers. Okay, and I, I just need this. You can select that as well. Now both uh, this stamp and this me and everything will be appearing. We click apply changes and you can see it appears. The advantage is like uh, if I put this somewhere, the main picture internet again unknown. If you want to move this picture here and there in the screen, you have to go to the wrap text and then use uh, maybe behind the say, text or in front of the text. Easy in front of the text. With the background, they can the appear in front of the text. Then you can move this uh, picture to anywhere that you like. Okay, we have this. Okay. You can move this picture to anywhere that you like. So, how to ensure that the background is removed? If you put, uh, maybe if you put a color, I have to copy it's easy. If you put a color to this page, let's go to the design and put a page color. Then uh, you can see through the and right, you can see through this background. Then you can ensure that background is removed. Then what may transparent the tama may garden removal. 
So now actually, you know, unlike earlier days, now word processing software are capable of editing pictures also. Is there a word processing can you watch on with right? Only the words. You can type words, edit words, bold, format words. But now actually a word processing software can do more. Even it can edit pictures. Okay, you can edit pictures. Go to the picture format menu. Remove background, we'll do that. And uh, then, uh, so what else? Other than removing the background, you can format this. You can uh, increase the brightness and change the contrast. Contrast can be color separation. When the contrast is high, you can see the color separation or the color gap will be very, very high. But when the contrast is low, the color gap will be very low. But uh, you have to keep intermediate contrast. Not the very high contrast, not a very low contrast, but intermediate one will be better. Very high contrast gives up to me. Projector will be able to do you know, Like when I go to some schools, their projector, they use the maximum contrast. Then uh, sometimes backgrounds cannot be seen properly. So when you are using, use intermediate contrast. Don't use the maximum contrast. Okay, then you can add different colors. Like this. You can add different colors. And also you can add the uh, you can add different colors. Not only that, you can add uh, different artistic effects like oil paint. effects You can see a watercolor, oil paint. Uh, there are those effects are also there. Watercolor, oil paint effects are also there. And then uh, you can uh, actually add transparency to transparency. Can be. We need the paint above it. Or making our watermark Again, a paragraph equal R and D. Equal rand will type a paragraph. Now it, this is watermark, right? Watermark means paragraph is also visible, image is also visible. You call this a watermark. Watermark. Watermark means maybe you can uh, put your logo there. You can put uh, a name, copyright text, or your ownership can be displayed. Logo on a sheet can be displayed there. That's what I'm Okay. To that, you need the transparency. So let's make it like uh, opaque and here. But if you make it transparent, you will see through it. This is too. Now you can see through the picture. That is what the transparency is. Okay. Now, uh, this is basically how the picture format menu work. And not only that, you have many other options. What are they? You can make it appear in 3D. Here, you can go to the quick styles and like add borders, different things are there. Here, you can see, you can rotate and show this as a 3D thing. Mm. Add in borders, decorations, everything possible. Not only that, you can make it appear in like the 3D shape. Yeah. You can see here. 3D like look. Maybe a book, book cover. You can show it in a 3D way. Here, uh, there are more options. You can just go and see 3D rotations are there. You can like this. And you can add borders or outlines. All the text here again, in case if image is not displayed, what should be displayed? Maybe you can say image of the pen. You can show this is picture of the Sunilanjana. That is what the alternative text is. In case in case where the picture is not appearing, then this alternative text appears. Or when you move on top of the picture, this alternative text appears. Or it will be displayed in the bottom. Text wrap. Text wrap. You can make it like square wrapping, type wrapping, true wrapping, behind the text, get a text taken a pity passing. In front of the text, it is basically in front of this. 
and then bring it forward, send it backward, all these things are there. You can prop it. That means you can take only a part of picture. Maybe you need face only. Then you can prop it okay, like this. Okay. So likewise, you can do various edits to your picture. That is the picture menu. Okay, I will give you a very simple exercise to you to do. You can try this as a homework. So let me share that now. Just give me one minute. And Microsoft Word is a word processing software. Have I? Even though it is a word processing software, you can do the image manipulation. Just try to do this one if possible. That means you need to find three or four pictures. This is uh, basically a hall and sky and this beach picture. Even the ice island. Try to manipulate this image. Take a screenshot. Take a screenshot. Or this image. This image. Or wait. You can maybe try to do, no, this is too heavy. Okay, this image, you can see here. The image in the right side, right? A balloon, frog, a butterfly, and a book. This is a complex manipulation, but try to do that. Okay. The third one is this. The third is this. Or try to do this. Right? Three things I have displayed. But do this as a homework. Send it to the WhatsApp, right? Do this as a homework, send it to the WhatsApp. Okay, these three activities try to do using, not using Photoshop, don't use Photoshop, just use MS Word, Microsoft Word. You can do that. Now, I have even, it's possible. Okay, let's go back to the MS Word and let's see what are the other possibilities. You know how to add a header and footer easily. So, in order to add the header, my rule may guess the keyword. This gray color area is the ruler side. You can clubber click on there and you can see the header appearing. When you add some text, so it will appear in other pages as the header text. Here's some text, gray, but appearing in other pages. So only one page. How to insert a new page? Can you tell me a shortcut? Shortcut to come with the other page. Add in a new page. What is the shortcut? Control in. Control enter. Control N again in document. Document page. Control enter. Control and enter. We'll give you a new page and you can see the header text appear in there. Control enter. Another new page. Header text appear in there as well. But whatever you put in the header is appearing in all the pages. Even if you put an image, it will appear in all the pages. So let's put an image there. Inside a picture and this time picture for profile. Okay, if you add this to the header text, then may head them in how to add this? You can see this gray color area. Just double click here. That is the easiest way. Just double click on the gray color area. Or you can go to uh, insert, insert menu. There you can see header and footer. Insert menu, you can see the header and footer there as well. Okay, let's add the picture to the head. I'm going to cut this picture. Control X. Control X to cut. Double click. Control V to paste it here. Now it is in the header section. So let's reduce the size of image. And I need to move the image to this side. So I need to use uh, picture format and the wrapping. So let's say behind the text. Now I can move it somewhere. I'm keeping it here. 
but in the header section you can see header enable keep it in the header section after that double click here and you can see picture appearing in each page as it is applied in the header section metana double click kala daapu hinda etana daapu ekka hama page ekkama appear wenna it's appearing in all the pages as the header image you can put a logo there right then the logo will appear in each page whatever you put in the header will be duplicate and apply applied applied in other pages too header ke daane wala duplicate will be on the pages will apply you know, that is the nature footer also the same when you double click there in the gray area in the bottom it's the footer or you can go to uh, insert footer and you can add like a uh, page numbers uh, various things like page numbers copyright uh, notes different things in the footer maybe decoration image or something like this i can add just a figure and i just need to add a number also let's add the page number there uh, page numbers and i just need that to be added right side okay click okay now you can see the page number also let's move the square to here you can like place it anywhere right but you need to word wrap and place space it like stop it like and you can see now each page has a page number here okay and with the decoration okay try header and footer also you have two minutes to try this picture format in header and footer today i'm doing little fast i said that i'll be finishing little earlier right doing little fast as i'm not there so try to do this within two minutes add in header add in footer how to write random text equal r a n d open bracket close bracket will give press enter will give a random text you can put a number there to get a given number of like you can get a specific number of paragraphs by putting a number there let's say you put 5 you will get 5 paragraphs then if you put uh, 2,5 you will get 5 paragraph each with uh, sorry 2,5 you will get two paragraph each with five lines 2,1 2 paragraphs each with one line one line paragraph okay likewise you can customize the rand and also you can use lorem also lorem lorem that will also give the placeholder text lorem 5 will give 5 and lorem 5,4 will give 5 lines each with five sentence or five paragraphs each with four lines so lorem or and you can use and you can double click to select a word 1 2 3 triple click to select the paragraph double click to select to the word select the word triple click to select a paragraph now do these things quickly 2 minutes remaining then uh, column layout it's easy select the text and here you can select uh, not here you can see the layout layout there you can select the number of columns this also we have discussed last day select the number of columns it appears there okay uh, what else tables just create this table now mm. i will give this as an exercise this is uh, for a web page but let's try to create this web page using ms word i just need to create this web page using ms word mm. okay i need a simple one not too complex so it should be simple and should have merges as well okay let's do that so here actually they have advise you to create this using css and no need to do that just try to do this uh, just try to do that using ms word microsoft word this one just do it using microsoft word tables use a table 
Again, you have five minutes to complete this. Use a table and try to do this. Use these same colors also. Okay, those who have tried now can complete the activity. You have to go to the insert menu, table, and then take uh, count the number of columns. One, it seems there are like uh, all together one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four columns. How many rows? Uh, one, two, three, four rows. So I'm going to insert the four column, four rows, table, four by four, 16. Okay, then I'm going to format this as the given table. Please do that. The first thing that I can advise you, you can see header. All four are merged, so you can select one, two, three, four. Right click and merge it. Merge cells. Right click, merge cells. Then type header there. After that, what you can do is you can select that, go to the home, center align it, increase the font size by few steps, change the background color of this particular cell to blue, and change the font color of this to white. Your first task is done. Later, let's add the borders, but first, first of all, without the borders, let's try to do this. Borders can also be added. But before that, let's complete the activity this way. And you can see there is a gap, a lead-in gap, padding gap. What you can do is, when you move to this, you will get this double-headed arrow. Can you see this? This is called double-headed arrow. Then click. Double header arrow, I could type a hatha in a kang in one. Then click and drag. You will be given a chance to resize. That is when the double header arrows are. And you can uh, vertically align, you can vertically increase the line height. If it is too. You can put a uh, add space before paragraph. And add space after paragraph if you want. Or you can just keep it as it is. Anything that preferred. Please complete the activity now. Now you know what to do. Please complete. Now. Two more minutes can be like I, I will extend time by two more. Raise your hand once you done. Atosana Karli right. Anybody like to share? Javiru, Kamath is Shakara. Shavani. Yes. If you like, I can give the chance. Please raise your hand if you like to share. No one. Senuka? Okay. Okay, Shamin, you can. Just Shamin. Please share. Uh, you were using uh, drawings, ne? the shapes. Yes, you have used the shapes. My expectation was tables. That doesn't matter. It's appearing the shape, but uh, try kara na na, table link kara. Okay, this is good, but you need to use tables. Okay, uh, let's go back. How it looks like a side uh, aside article image 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 one two three are there here three are merge here let's do the mergers first here these two are merged these three are merged article Side. Both you need to make center line. Increase the height.
pre images let's put the colors uh, Color. It's the field image, right? Sorry, it's field color is blue. This field color is orange. More red. Font is white. Place the font size. Three images in gray color. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. It's really difficult to draw. Image, image, image. Color font, center line, increase the font size. Okay. Footer. Merge them all. Okay, like this. One, two, three, four. Right click merge cells and it will be the footer for this. Let's make it center aligned. The fill color is uh, light blue again. Light blue again. This fill color. Font color is white. Okay, we have done. Only thing is the borders. Click on this. Change here. We can see the borders. Go to the borders and shading here. Click on the borders icon. Borders and shading. Then select some heavy border. And also the border color you can change. Mm border color you can change it uh, to anything that you like maybe Let's see red color borders orange color right this is orange color blue color borders okay okay and now you can see the blue color borders are appearing there you can in blue name in it that latin market pink from another purple red the game are kind of like up here Borders and shading going back and you can see this color need to be changed. This one, I guess. Okay. It actually light the color. Plus on shading. Some light color. Mm. More, more colors, make it lighter. Okay. And also that. I think everything is okay except the lines here. Except the lines here. This need to be centered and this need to be centered. Okay, this is how you do it the using. This is how you do it using tables. Practice it and practice harder. Then how can you save? Like you can like you can make it full screen or by removing the borders, you can just keep this somewhere here and like make it larger. And appearing in the full screen. Right, a little. Okay, something like this. Here, this side also is going to. Make it little larger, otherwise it's very difficult to 
I guess uh, it's done now. If the line size is not enough, in go there and you can just go to borders and shadings. And here you can add a custom value, no, the maximum is six, right? It doesn't matter, okay, let's keep it. Like how to save this and when you're saving this, please select, uh, go to the file menu, save as and then select HTML filtered website or HTML. Like you can save it HTML filtered here, website filter or web page. The filtered one will be HTML only, but if you use web page, it use Microsoft HTML, MHTML as well. Let's save as website filter, header.html, down a few months, save it. And yes, you need to convert it. And then when you go there, documents, you will see this as a web page. You see this as a web page. You right click, go to view page source, you will see HTML appear in that. HTML and CSS. And there are TD table data. Right? Where you can see table data appearing. And the table is also there. That will be automatically converted. If you have TR, TD, here the table is automatically converted. How to get that? Right click, view page source. So if you need again the full screen when you save as the web page, make it full screen or not, you can reduce the size and then you can increase the size of table two thousand five hundred. Drop it downwards to This can be done, right? This can be done. Let's save it. Yes, as HTML. Go there, I'll refresh the page, and you can see it's appearing. To the entire string oh it's too too much now you have to reduce the size maybe you can show around thousand These things you can change according to. Let's see it now. Save it and yes, save it. Refresh. Looks better, but still not perfect. Like you can uh, slowly change the sizes and get the correct size. I guess the correct size is around. It's depend on the screen as well. But nine hundred or thousand would be. Idea for this. Save it okay. A little more. Okay, try to create like try to add images, content, and create a web page this way by using tables. Use the tables, try to create this kind of web page. You can add content also. This is only the layout. Okay, try to complete this as a homework. I'll stop from here for today. Try to complete this as a homework, and this is the outcome of this page. And we can reduce, uh, like header is there, a side article is there, then these columns are there, then the message footer is there, footer is too, too lengthy. 
two days two lane feeling for this these things can be controlled right these things can be easily controlled so don't worry much these things can be easily controlled let's save it and you can it's a matter of just writing no resize in the code now you can see the header with the both appearing this can be easily changed Okay, uh, I will stop from here. Then let's see you all next week. Good night. Thank you, sir. Good night.